Hey everyone, this is Scott from Craft Corrupt. Welcome to another edition of Rewatching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Today I'm talking about Season 5, Episode 15, Rise and Shine. So we're going to start off with the plot summary and then talk about my general thoughts after I've just finished rewatching this episode. So yeah, the plot summary says, 28 years ago, a young Hal was assigned by Daniel Whitehall to infiltrate the U.S. military, U.S. Air Force, and also be impregnated via in virtual infertilization with Ruby as Hydra's next leader in the present Hale fails to convince a recently a recently weakened Talbot to release Hydra contraband. She also informs Coulson that an alien invasion known as the alien alliance known as the Confederacy made contact with Hydra and offered to assist Earth in an impending invasion. She in intends to betray the alliance by using Whitehall's particle infusion chamber and gravitonium to create a destroyer of worlds. She, though she intends for it to be Ruby, she suggests Daisy may be a better fit. Upon hearing this, Coulson denies her offer and reveals his trip to the future, but she doesn't believe him. Back at the lighthouse, May and Daisy struggle to deduce Hale's motivation and locate Coulson. Daisy, who has been left as the de facto head of S.H.I.E.L.D. refuses to trust Fitz and goes in search of Robin. Simmons tells Fitz about their relationship to Deke suggesting that they will survive despite the odds so yeah i just finished watching this episode and this one was a, one of those funner fun funner that's not a word one of those fun episodes where they take a little bit of a different route with a different storytelling tactic this time getting a flashback of a villain kind of not that hail's exactly a villain per se but she kind of is she she is hydra but we do see her like how she came up we get a little sitwell pop up in there young sitwell so i really enjoyed like the storytelling we got in this the, the, the storytelling element they used to tell the background of hail and give us her motivation and why how she's come to be where she is what ruby is there for and all that stuff what this secret base is doing so i really enjoyed this episode for that stuff and that is kind of a switch up from your normal kind of episode in the fact that we spent a good chunk of it just doing flashbacks into hale's life um but yeah i thought that was really interesting colson finding out about hale being hydra and then the fact that she wants him to join and then and find out about some more aliens the fact that he finds out about more aliens and that was shocking to him obviously he just got back from space which no one ever believes i'm like you guys you guys live in a world that was attacked by aliens why is everyone questioning the fact that somebody might have gone to space and like come, come on come on Hale, get up get over yourself uh but yeah i really enjoyed that part that we get that the, we have the cameo of whitehall coming back which is just like just because it's the last season and it's a fun way to bring that character who's dead uh, in the present in the show a way to bring him back in us even as just a flashback so i enjoyed that little cameo we got from him uh and then at the end Gemma telling fits about their relationship to deke the fact that deke's their grandson and fits just being like but he's the worst <laughs> we're gonna have a we're gonna have a daughter and she's gonna marry some space <laughs> I can't remember exactly how I put it, <laughs> but I just love like his response to learning that Deeks is grandson and just still not being positive about it at all. But Gemma being like, maybe this means we get to, we, we live a decent amount of time and then we're going to survive. But they also kind of leave out the part that means the earth still gets blown up. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's all my general thoughts for this episode of Angels of Shield. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what you thought of this episode. Thanks again for joining me today. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and have a good one.